The news several TCI residents and international investors were dreading came to culmination today as ultra-luxury and exclusive resort project Dallas Key announced through a press release that they were entering into receivership. Trinidad and Tobago Unit Trust Corporation, the company sourcing the finances of the project, has appointed a receiver to Dallas Key, according to a press release sent to our newsroom this afternoon. The resort was reportedly put on hold, according to chief developers Dr. Kim Kinney, partner August Serum, as negotiations for a restructuring plan with funder of the project, Trinidad and Tobago Unit Trust Corporation, were underway. In a press release received today, Dr. Kem Kinney, the CEO of Turks Limited, and his partner, August Serum, said that, We have been struggling with very little cash in hand for the past weeks and have been operating under very difficult trading conditions. We asked TTUTC to consider to provide us emergency funding and an extension of time of 60 days on the unpaid portion of the interest payment that was due on the 22nd of August 2009, whilst we make efforts to regularize our financial position and provide a credible restructuring plan with new equity partners, Mandarin Oriental Group, and the existing purchasers. The requests are now rejected. According to the press statement, Dr. Kinney is not ready to give up yet on the Turks and Caicos Islands, even after such a reversal of fortunes. He is concerned with the damage of his reputation, which he blames the Commission of Inquiry for, but is determined to continue on despite his losses. The statement continued, This is certainly not the end. I have invested all I have into the Turks and Caicos Islands, and I don't have the intention to lose it all. I have been a victim of the Commission of Inquiry. I will continue to promote my projects in the Turks and Caicos Islands, and I will work on bringing in new potential investors who may be interested to complete the project despite this setback today. I will also continue to defend my reputation at all costs. For WIV4 News, I'm Allison Capert.